Hi guys, Dane and uh, Biggie here. Can you say hi, Biggie? He says hi. That's the closest he gets. And uh, today we are going to take the Oscars tag. So this was originally created by Liv's Books. And I was tagged by Mindy's Book Journey. And basically the idea here is that we have a bunch of questions that are kind of Oscars themed. And uh, we get to choose sort of a, a book or a series or an author, etc. To win awards in our own little take on the Oscars. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Award number one is for Best Picture, which is for your favourite book series. So for me, I have picked the His Dark Materials trilogy by uh, Philip Pullman. And it's just... To be honest, it's the series that really got me hooked on writing. I know for a lot of people in my generation that series was Harry Potter, but this for me was kind of my Harry Potter. And um, yeah, it just really made me fall in love with writing, made me realise what stories could be, and made me want to be a writer myself as well, and just made me fall in love with reading in general. So to represent this, I have Northern Lights here by Philip Pullman. Question number two, best foreign film, favourite diverse book? So for me, the idea, the book that stood out for me here was Willem of the Taffel by Hans M. Hershey. Hans is an indie author. And this book is basically a sort of post-apocalyptic survival novel. This um, society has all been, they've all been living underground after this, I think after a nuclear war. And the idea is, is that then they can't go outside. And anyway, uh, Willem of the Taffel gets it kind of kicked out of this community and goes outside and he discovers that actually it is safe beyond the walls of their community and uh, he, he's uh, it's an LGBTQ plus novel because Willem is I think he's either gay or bisexual I'm not sure which of the two um, but anyway he, he falls in love with a, a male love interest and between the two of them they kind of have to convince his um, you know his tribe underground that it's safe to come out basically definitely recommend it okay award number three best documentary favorite non-fiction book so for me this is on writing by stephen king uh, i read this last year and just really enjoyed it i'd put it off for a while because i don't know i think i thought that i've been writing for so long now that what if there's something in this that i realize that i've just been doing wrong all this time and it kind of makes me feel as i've been wasting my time but luckily that didn't happen. I did pick up some interesting sort of tips and whatnot that I would use. But also it was just interesting to see the backstory behind King's work and a lot of the, the books that he's written. So yeah. Award number four. This is Best Actress and this is Favourite Female Protagonist. So for me I picked up Equal Rights by Terry Pratchett here. And it's going to be uh, Granny Weatherwax. Although I'm not sure if she's specifically the protagonist of this book. But she is the protagonist of um, the majority of Pratchett's which is books. So yeah, Granny Weatherwax. Award number five, best actor, favorite male protagonist. So for this, I'm gonna go for Hank Chinaski from Ham on Rye by Charles Bukowski. These are autobiographical and uh, Chinaski isn't necessarily a nice character. He's not even a male character that I personally can relate to, but he is an interesting character and that's what makes these books sort of so readable. You might not like him, but you kind of want to know what, uh, you know, what, what he's going to talk about next. Award number six, best supporting actress. Favourite female supporting character. So for me, I've just grabbed uh, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix uh, by J.K. Rowling. And I think this character's in it. Uh, Luna Lovegood anyway. I think she's in it by this point in the series. I can't remember. Somebody may feel free to correct me. But I just love Luna because she's sort of just such an oddball. And I can relate to her because of that. Award number seven, best supporting actor, favorite male supporting character. So I am going for Gandalf. And so I'm illustrating this with The Fellowship of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. I don't think I have to talk too much about why I like Gandalf. He's just a really cool character and you never know what he's going to get up to. And you never know when he's going to disappear and you never know when he's going to show up again as well. Typical wizard. Award number eight, best screenplay, favorite standalone book. So I'm going for Margaret Atwood, The Handmaid's Tale here. No surprise, this was actually my favourite book of uh, last year. But I also want to do this because apparently Margaret Atwood's writing a sequel to it. So soon it won't be a standalone book. So I think I should give it the uh, the award now while I still can. And uh, yeah, definitely recommend this uh, and read it. If you award number nine, Best Director, Favourite Author. So I'm going for Stephen King here. It could be any of a number, but um, yeah. I mean, none of these answers are like final answers of all time as well. They're just what I felt like answering now. I was I was trying to figure out whether maybe it's just supposed to be over the previous year or not. 
But I don't know. The, these are just my answers at the time of preparing and filming for this tag. So we're going Stephen King. And this is The Gunslinger. Award number 10, Best Cinematography. And this is for Best World Building. So how could it not be George R. R. Martin, author of A Game of Thrones and the A Song of Ice and Fire series? And yeah, I mean, that's there's a reason these books are this thick. And it's because the world building in them is fantastic. So definitely recommend reading the books if you haven't already. Award number 11, Best Costuming, and this is for Best Cast of Characters, so I'm going for R. Doris by Charles Heathcote, specifically for R. Doris and R. Harold, uh, Doris and Harold Copeland, these sort of two elderly, uh, an old married couple from the north of England, and they are just hilarious. And also the supporting cast of characters, you know, people from the Women's Institute and all that kind of thing, they're all very amusing as well. Uh, Charlie just did a great job of kind of capturing these kind of characters that feel like real people. And Charl is, Charlie is also a uh, YouTuber, a booktuber, so definitely check out his channel and read his books as well. All right, and then number 12, tag people. So I am going to go into my recent comments and just tag, I don't know, a half dozen people who have most recently left me a comment. So, so I'm going to tag LJ Presents, Todd the Librarian, Run Right Reads, Right Read Books, Jason's Weird Reads, Hungry Buckworm, Mindy's Book Journey, and Alex Black. So there we go. You guys feel free to go and take this. I mean, I know the Oscars have happened now, but I think there are still some pretty interesting questions in here. So there we have it. That's what I made of the Oscars book tag. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.